Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I am so I'm so excited to share that I'm going to the Outer Banks this week with my family. We leave tomorrow afternoon and I thought it'd be really fun to show how I get my family ready to go. I had to clean my home so we don't come home to a mess. I have to get my makeup brushes clean, get myself packed and my husband packed, all my kids packed, and I just wanted to show you everything we do to prepare to go. This is the second time we've been down there. We absolutely love North Carolina. It's absolutely gorgeous down there this time of the year. Well, any time of the year, but we've just, this is the second time we've, this is the second time we got to go down in October or towards the end of September and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's in the 80s this time of the year and a little chillier at night. So I thought I'd show you everything that I'm packing me cleaning my brushes, me getting my house ready, my head's in a hundred different places. I'm sure any mom out there could understand. I still have to food shop to bring food with us. So I thought I would just bring you along and show you everything I do to get ready to go on vacation for a family of five. And I also can't wait to show you the home we're staying in. It's absolutely beautiful and show you some of the fun things we're gonna do down in Hatteras. It's just such a beautiful place to go. So if you're interested in seeing how I clean and prepare to go and how I pack, Keep watching and stay tuned for any cool vlogs that I have coming up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Hi friends. I know this video might seem all over the place. I was in such a scrambles trying to get everything together and done and trying to get all the food out of the refrigerator that could spoil um, trying to make sure we come home to a clean house because when we went to Disney we were in such a rush that the house was a mess and we came home to a mess and it's just not fun so I was just trying to get everything situated get a clean fridge get the house all nice and cleaned up so when we came home we could just relax and get our lives back in order you know sometimes when you come back on vacation things take a couple days to get back to normal. So this is over a few days of me just getting the house cleaned. I'm here cleaning out my refrigerator and wiping it down. Might seem unnecessary, but I just don't want to come home to anything spoiled. So if you're interested in seeing everything I do, just keep on watching. I'm trying my hardest to quit drinking any type of soda, even though there's soda in the refrigerator. But I know if I put water in the fridge and it's easily accessible and I see it, I'll be more inclined to grab a water than soda. And I've been really good about it. I've been trying to drink as much water as possible, but I thought I'd share that. You know, I'm not perfect. It's definitely hard to give up soda pop, but I'm really trying to for my own health and for making myself feel better and I'm trying to drink a lot more water. So I just thought I would share that. I just stuck all this water in the refrigerator. And here I am just getting my kitchen nice and clean and organized because again, we're not gonna be home for a little while and I just wanna come home to a clean and empty kitchen. I always forget to clean under my toaster. 
it always gets so messy messy and crumbs are always stuck under it and i need to remember often to pick this up and clean it but i did that today because god knows i do not want to come home to any type of ants and here i am this dreaded shelf i hate this thing i'm probably going to be getting rid of it here when we start renovations um when we get back home we are going to put new floors down and paint and i'm probably going to donate this because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it i just feel like it's unnecessary and it ends up where everyone throws their stuff so i'm just thinking i will donate it when we get home And I'm just doing my everyday chores like I usually do, wiping down the sinks, making sure the bathroom was clean. Even though no one will be here, my grandparents are still stopping by each day and I just want the house to be nice so it's not a big old mess when they come in to take care of our cat. So I'm just spraying everything down and getting it all wiped and nice and clean. Since this is a clean with me and getting ready for vacation, I figured I'd show you how I clean my brushes because I was doing this to take them with me. I will take lukewarm water and I will take unscented Dove soap or baby soap, whichever I have, 
and I just proceed to clean them. I always use warm water because I don't want to loosen up any of the glue in my brushes. And I just take a brush and I will wet it and I will just run it over the soap until it comes clean. This is sort of um, something I've always done and it's always really worked for me. And I love the unscented Dove soap. I just feel like it's always worked for my brushes and it's never damaged them or given me any type of breakouts on my face. So I'm just going to clean the brushes that I need to take on vacation with me. Now I wanted to show what I carry um, my brushes in when I travel, part of my nails. Um, I got this Morphe carrying case when I ordered um, Jaclyn Hill's recommended brushes and it came in this, it's a little wet. Um, and this is just what I put them in and it's a nice case, it's not that huge, it's actually, it's actually kind of small and I just throw my brushes in. If you didn't have a lot of makeup, you could throw your makeup in here with it and you're good to go. But I thought I'd share that with you. Um, I really like this and I was really thrilled to get it. So it's a nice hard case and it keeps your brushes from getting deformed. This is an old suitcase that my husband and I have had for years and years. I believe we got it for like $50 at Walmart and it came with a smaller one that was inside. And here I am just trying to figure out how to get everything situated so it all fits nicely. Um, I'm like a nervous packer. I always feel like I'm never taking enough or I take too much. So I guess it's better to overpack than underpack. I'm taking a couple t-shirts, a couple dresses sweatshirts and a couple pairs of pants just in case it's cooler in the evenings there it's supposed to be in the 80s so we should be able to swim and just really enjoy ourselves but i do take a couple of sweatshirts and long pants just in case it's cooler in the evenings so here i am just getting all my stuff packed for whatever reason my husband wanted to pick out his own clothes which he never ever does but i let him and i just am going to pack all my stuff and then i will pack up his stuff and we will be good to go
Here I am just finishing up the few things that we needed to pack and the remainder of my husband's clothes, all his underwear, his bathing suit, all his clothes that he wanted, they fit neatly right on the other side and the suitcase was plenty of room for the two of us. Okay, I just wanted to show you what I was taking all my makeup in. I got this in a box, boxy lux. I think maybe my first one. And I thought, ugh, I'll never use it, but it came in handy and it's very big. Um, I know this looks like a lot of makeup to some people, but I really didn't take as much as I normally would. And if anybody wants to see what's in here, I can definitely show you in a separate video because it's a lot. And then I'm just going to stick my brushes in that. And as far as palettes, I'm not taking, again, that many. To some people, it's a lot. I'm just going to take my Too Faced Peach Palette because I do really love that palette. My um, Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette, which is my contour. The only reason I'm taking this palette, my Kat Von D, this has got, um, this seen better, has seen better days but I use this color for my eyebrows. So that's the only reason that one's coming. I'm taking my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette because it's the best palette, better than any high-end, better than anything I've ever, ever used. And I've used high-end, I've used drugstore. This is my absolute favorite. I will use it and repurchase it till it's not made anymore. So I use this probably at least twice a week and then I'm just gonna bring my James Charles palette and I'm gonna bring my one hair curling iron I'm gonna bring my Bellamy um, graveyard girl collab curling iron and then I'm just gonna bring my I have the curling I mean sorry hair straightener and then I'm just gonna bring my smaller of the two oh, I can't remember what size barrel this is I don't think it's 32. I think 32 is the bigger of the two. This might be just the one inch. I'll put it down below if I can remember. But yep, that's everything as far as cosmetic and I gotta get my toiletries together. But so far this is everything as far as my makeup. I would just, I thought I'd just show you really quick. I don't know if anybody's interested in any of this stuff, but I was just gonna show you real quick what I'm taking as far as my skin care for my face. Um, I got this in a boxy lux and I absolutely love it. It is the pineapple um, bright serum from Glow Recipe. I love this. Um, the Dr. Brandt's um, sleep mask. I absolutely love that. Um, the it, Cosmetic Com it Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. At first I didn't like this. Um, my skin is sensitive as far as I break out in rashes easily. But I never really break out in any type of um, acne or anything like that. I'm very fortunate. And this is the first thing in my life that at first it did break me out terribly. But I don't know if my skin, it was something I was mixing with it. But right now it isn't. So um, it hasn't actually. So I really like it because it's extremely moisturizing. I just have my steroid cream in case I do get any rashes. Um, my skin's very prone to rashes, especially having, um, extra skin from losing weight. So I always keep a steroid cream with me. Then I just have my pharmacy, um, Honey Moon Glow. It is an, what the heck is it called? An AHA resurfacing night cream, the hyaluronic acid. And then just good old coconut oil and good old suave deodorant. Um, I hate using this deodorant. I am looking for a natural deodorant that will work. Um, I don't have much trouble with sweating. It's more of for the odor. Um, but for right now, this is okay. This is this in the dub is what I've been using for years and years and years. And then just over here, I have my Batiste. Good old 94 cents. Uh, moisture cocoa butter. I don't like to put anything crazy scented. I do sometimes splurge and get the Bath and Body Works, but it's not often. And then I got this in my Boxy Charm or my Boxy Lux, this Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. It makes my hair so shiny. It smells so 
high end and good and I think it's the coconut oil in it but it smells like you got your hair done in a salon so these are my toiletries my husband's gonna kick my behind because he's gonna freak out when he sees all this stuff I'm bringing but I'm just kidding he really doesn't care but I'm bringing it anyway because I'm going for seven days and I need my stuff so on to the next thing Okay, I just want to end the clean and pack with me. The only thing I have to pack is my cold food, and I have to do that when my husband brings our ice and our toiletries, which I'm going to just wait because he needs a shower right before we leave. But this is our big luggage, my camera bag. This is my bag that has all my makeup and stuff in it, all our linens that we have to bring because they didn't provide linens, which makes me feel a little bit better. I'd rather just take our own. And then here is all our non-spoiled foods. I tried to condense it down to two bags. A small bag for the dog's toys and treats. I'm not bringing too many toys because, heaven forbid, I left something. He might have... Listen, this dog would know. That's the thing. So, I'm just kidding. I'm only going to take a little bag with him and his treats. And then I have his dog food under there. And this is all my husband's fishing gear so I'm not exactly sure how we're going to fit everything into my car. I have the GMC terrain. I think it's 2017. Yeah it's a 2017 GMC terrain. Um, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to fit everything in. We will just shove it in. It's only three of us driving in that and then the two big girls are coming tomorrow night in her in my oldest's car and she has little mini Cooper so that's enough for them to bring their stuff down so we'll have the two cars and all this stuff we're taking down, but we should have a lot of fun. So I'm hoping to get a lot of fun footage. I'm gonna try to show you how awesome the house is and how many shells are on the beach. It's incredible. Last time I was there, I collected so much sea glass cause that's like my thing. So if you're interested in seeing what's gonna be coming up in the next couple of days, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And I really hope you like this clean and pack with me.